the first one, it seems to me, that's useful to um, to consider is the is the plurality of the social demands uh, that are that are contained in each of the struggles. I mean, even starting with Tunisia and Egypt, the most visible public demand was that the dictator go. But behind that was a whole series of economic and social demands about about precarious labor, about employment, about migration, about housing, etc. That and this. Um, Plurality of demands is what I think is, is one characteristic that's so interesting. For instance, in the occupations in Spain last May, there were committees about all of these various and sometimes disparate social demands about uh, debts for housing, about education, about, um, about migration policies, etc. So that's the first uh, aspect, it seems to me, characteristic that I assume here in Slovenia is is also common, which is the, the coming together in such occupation as, as of, a, of a plurality of demands that are not united under one, under one rubric. Um, the second characteristic is, is this one precisely of encampment, um, which, uh, which is a kind of rootedness of the, of, the, um, of the struggle, which I think carries with it a number of interesting characteristics. Maybe I'll come back to this one in a minute. The, the, the last two characteristics that seem useful to me are one, that these are anti-neoliberal struggles and even more clearly anti-finance industry or anti-finance capital struggles. That that's uh, the way they're organized and, and, and in some ways there's a, how should we say, an, an attempt to figure out how to express that, how to make that concrete. And that's one thing that you're obviously, that Occupy Wall Street is doing and that also, that also you're doing here uh, quite clearly. The, the last characteristic, the one that I'm in fact most interested here is the, of this entire cycle of struggles, is one, a refusal of representation. Let's say a more directly political nature of these struggles. I mean, one of the slogans in, in Spain last May with their encampments in the Puerto del Sol in the, and in Raza Catalunya in, in Barcelona, one of their slogans was, that you don't represent us, like that the that so it's not only a critique of one corrupt politician or one corrupt political party, although of course they're corrupt too. But that's not the issue. The issue is that the entire political class or the entire political system is not able to represent our um, our issues. A, a critique of representation as such, in fact, in that sense, a a critique of the. Um, of the constitutional system as a whole, which seems to be a quite um, radical and far-reaching demand or even program, let's say. There are many ways it has, it has to do with, or think of the, its relationship to the slogan in, in Argentina 10 years ago during the economic crisis there, that one of their primary slogans was que se vayan todos, like it would, would you say, that they all go. So it's not only that one politician goes or one political party goes, but in a way out with all of them, which seems to me a, a sentiment or a political proposition that's being repeated here. Um, now, what, what form does that take? I mean, so here it comes with, and this is I'd say throughout this entire year, it comes with a, I think at first seemingly naive demand for democracy. Like when we, um, I think that first, in, from Europe and also from North America, when we, when we heard about and we even felt inspired by the struggles in Tunisia and the struggles in <coughs> Egypt, the call for democracy there, I think, could have often been discounted. You'd say, okay, it's, that's against the tyrant, that's against the dictator. Perhaps what they're asking for is something like the European so-called democracy. But then already in Spain and, in, and certainly in Greece too, this, this critique of representation, critique of the political cla uh, class, which then goes with the demand for democracy, again, you might say, well, that sounds naive, like asking for, as the Spaniards did, one of their slogans is uh, democracia real ya, like now, like real democracy now. 